What is up guys? Today I'm going to be going around San Bernardino, Highland, maybe Redlands and go look for some spots to take some good photos for my stock photography and see what we can get out of it. Since I'm not doing uh, Uber Eats until January, maybe February, it all depends. Right now, this is kind of something that I'm going to be doing. Maybe a couple of other stuff, but right now, I'm just going to try out the stock photography. Right, let me see if I can cut this way. So yeah, right now, I have my mirrorless camera and different lenses on my backpack. Once I get this ruckus warmed up and I find a good spot to start off, I'm going to have my camera out and kind of search around for good um, sceneries, you know, anything that could be used for stock photography and see what sells. I also want to try doing videos as well. Apparently you can do stock videos and I may or may not do some with the GoPro but today I just want to use my regular camera. It's a nice day out today. Not too cold. The sun is kind of blocked by some clouds. So I would consider this some good, perfect weather. And I know over here there was a Highland kind of giant sign uh, along the bridge that I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to head out over there first, get my gear out, and then start shooting from there all right so i think i got a good picture right here it seems like the 50 millimeter is a good size all right I don't know if you guys can see so I just went and took a picture of the city of Highland with the mountains in the back um, didn't come out too colorful but it could be just the screen and how daylight it is right now. I went with 35 millimeter, which is usually the most common size for like, I would say the human eye. But in that case, I feel like the 50 millimeter was, was more zoomable like to get the get my subject in frame as you would say so now I'm gonna go head down towards Redlands because Redlands has a lot better scenery So my main focus is to keep in mind what is going on in the world right now as far as the news and the photos I'm taking on how that relates to, I guess, my subjects, if that makes sense. That way, if the demand is uh, looking for... I don't know, 
let's just say poverty going on in California, you know, homelessness, new housing, you know, and that's something that shows up a lot. You know, these companies will buy um, these photos or download them and then I get my cut from it. But you really have to know what you're looking for. Alright, well, this is the next location. Really was just these, these houses. I noticed that these are mainly finished and then it goes along and those are still needed to be worked on. And I bet you everyone, I bet you everyone that's driving by thinks, what the heck is this guy doing walking away from his moped in, in a helmet? But that's just some things you need to do is kind of get out of your comfort zone, do what needs to be done. Let's see if I can, uh, Get this in frame. I wonder if it's bright enough. I'll go to 8. Bump up my ISO to 16. Kind of. Maybe go further up. There's construction workers coming in and out. And I'm not too far from my bike. But I think it's really cool that you have this kind of slow transition of these housings. It's too bad this truck's in the way. Well, actually, there's no... Uh, Hopefully I got that right. Yeah, there's no um, logo on it. That's another thing is they don't want to see logo. Anyways, off to the next location. All right, another spot is right down the street. So you have all of these new warehouses being built then you have all these old shops being torn down and replaced i figured it would be a good idea to get a shot of both of them but i think i have to turn back around that way all right park to the bad boy right here Yeah, I think I need more uh, more of a zoomable lens. It's kind of hard to see. I think the... I think the shot might be actually... No, it's kind of, it might be, might be kind of hard to see, but if, if there's any issues, I can always edit it. I was going to say, see if I can get a photo there. Yeah, I just think it's a trip. I 
Well, only one way to find out. And that's once I'm done. Oh yeah, also too, going towards Redlands, there was a construction zone. So I had to turn this way, going west. All right. Now, the final location I'm gonna go to, because I'm running low on time, is the airport I'm not sure how much how much um, exposure the airport has right now with the new uh, uh, what do you say the new airline there you go and I hear on the radio that they're always giving away tickets to go fly out to San Francisco. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get some cool shots. It's crazy too, cause I used to drive into this place over here where it says re e rubber the uh, brew rebellion which was a uh, small brewery and it was popping there for like a good year and left turn only yeah, i wonder if i can stop right here actually see if i can take some pics Oh no, there's cops right there. Uh, what was I saying? I know I was mentioning a uh, brewery. But yeah, they're, they're actually doing something here now. Oh, see, flysbd.com. That's one of the photos I wanted to get a picture of. See that? If I can get a good picture right in between. Like that. Then... There was another one. Now see this pole's in the way. Which kind of sucked. There we go. And I might switch over to the 35. And see how that one runs. I'm a little nervous though because I feel like my lighting is off. Got to be careful with that lens. Everyone's always uh, careful worried okay uh oh there we go oh, okay see that's a lot better um however Want to see if I can get a picture, better picture. See that?
yeah i think i'm just gonna head over towards where the amazon is get some photos from there and call it a day for today and next week i'll end up doing the same thing i'm trying to push myself to get up early and do these kind of things that way i can have some kind of uh, hobby to look forward to the next you know when i'm off until i start school again but it, it's a cool thing because let's say you're into photography but you're not really like you're just getting started and you are worried about uh I, I know that guy you're worried about like trying to get gigs you know depending what what type of photography you're gonna do right i would say if you like to go out and just take pictures for fun and then you post it on social media you know yeah that's cool and all but if you want to like start getting paid for your work that you think is is good you know this is definitely a uh a good starting point uh, let's see if i can oh my god a dead raccoon jesus christ that that sucks all right so like right here You know, it, it'll give you something to do, as I was saying. Um, you're able to get out of your comfort zone. Oh, shit. You're able to get out of your comfort zone. Or at least it, it, it'll push you to. Sorry for that, uh, that small stutter. Anyways. Um, let me get closer. But yeah, you get out of your comfort zone. I know I said that like 10 times. And it'll boost your creativity. Because now you're thinking of what can I shoot? You know, if I'm going out here and there, you know, and I take my camera, let's say I go to the zoo with my family. You know, I can take nice photos of all these animals and who knows, you know, people might look for that. Oh, I really got to get next to that. Let's see. It's kind of tough right now. Because it's so much wide, wide space. I'm very limited. I might pull forward. Yeah, but it's funny too because um, going back like five or now yeah, maybe five years, four or five years, I would have been really scared to do this. I mean, I still am, but. You know, it's got to get done if, you know, you have a vision on what you want to do. It doesn't happen until you get out of your comfort zone. Oh. All right. Let's take it easy. around this way all right all right let's try right here Oh, 
Oh man, the Amazon logo is on the right side, but it's kind of tough to see. I think it's better over here. Bring that ISO down. And you know what? I'm on AV. I think AV is the one that everyone says to go to. Like if you're just trying to point and shoot. I can do manual. But it seems like I would have to keep adjusting my settings but I'm still doing that right now which is weird all right let's get out of here thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.